Hello everyone. Let's talk about configuring the Remtron Patriot Pro to enable backwards compatibility. The objective of this training is to provide instructions on how to configure the Remtron Patriot Pro OCUs into RLC OCUs and vice versa to control Patriot Pro MCUs or legacy Remtron receivers. For a bit of clarification, OCU stands for Operator Control Unit and represents the handheld transmitter. The MCU is the Machine Control Unit, which is the receiver. RLC stands for Remtron Legacy Continuous Transmission. Some prerequisites uh, is to ensure that your OCU is operating on a 900 MHz frequency band. You will also need Catron Link version 1.4.1 or greater. Catron Link can be downloaded from catron.com and internet connection is required to access that. A computer with Bluetooth 5.0 or greater is, is required to connect to the Catron Link wirelessly. You will also need the OCU configuration files or the .bin files. For initial setup, the following steps are needed for initial installation and first time running Catron Link. First, install the Catron Link application if you have not done so already. When you run the program, click on the Help button on the top right and then select Load Frequency Table. Then restart the Catron Link program. After restarting the Catron Link program, within Catron Link, press Scan Devices. After that, press the OCU On button until all LEDs light up and then immediately release the button. Once the OCU is detected, the OCU will appear in the device box. The device name will start with OCU. Click the device and press Connect. An authorization window will pop up. In that window, enter 219547 and press OK. Once Catron Link establishes a link, the device information will appear. Next, let's take some actions to load the configuration. After connecting to the OCU, on the left column, fifth icon down, which looks like a gear with a wrench, press that tab and go to the configuration window. Verify that the OCU has the current configuration by pressing the read button. A pop-up window will appear. Click OK. The field should fill in with values and is now ready to load the new configuration. Press the load button to browse for the configuration file. Then select the appropriate configuration file to load onto the OCU. For legacy Remtron RLC operations, use the files as presented on the slide here. For Patriot Pro operations, use the files that are presented on the slide here. After selecting the bin file, press OK. A pop-up window to merge or overwrite configurations will appear. Please click No. Next, the OCU ID code or frequency address must be entered. For programming the ID code for RLC OCUs, go to the Firmware tab. Just like how you'd use the Rack 16, enter the ID code into the Remtron Legacy Code field and press the Set button. Verify Address by clicking Address Mode. The Master Address hexadecimal field will have to last four digits of the ID code.
Now let's talk about programming the frequency and address for Patriot Pro OCUs. Let's go to the RF control tab. Enter the system frequency into the F1 field. Then click address mode and enter the master address hexadecimal. Once that is done, click the right button. A warning pop-up will appear. If acceptable, click accept. If unacceptable, please contact Catron for further assistance. After accepting, the OCU will be programmed with the configuration and the OCU will automatically reboot. A pop-up prompt will appear to reconnect if necessary. If no other changes are required, you may press the No button. The OCU is now configured and you have completed the training. Thank you.